C++ 20 comes with many new features, but one of them will surely save uh, quite a lot of typing. The spaceship operator. As usual, let's first define the problem. Let's suppose you have an example class, well, let's call it widget. So, struct, let's use struct instead of class, widget. And inside, let's add a member and another member. Now, let's suppose we want this class to be comparable and introduce some kind of ordering between various widget instances. So, in essence, if we have widget one and widget two, we want to do something like this. Of course, compilation failed. To make this work, we have to add a ton of boilerplate, either as class members or free functions. I'm a fan of free functions myself, so let's stick with that. Okay, so we want to first introduce an equality operator, so, and here we simply return comparisons. But what about inequality operator? Well, we need to add this as well. It's only logical, right? So operator. And here we simply return negated equality operator. Cool. But we also have introduced some kind of ordering. So we need to create a bunch of comparison operators. Less, less than, greater, greater than. As you can imagine, it's just a ton of code. It will easily take up the whole screen here. What we can notice is that all those operators in fact are very similar. They only differ by the operator itself, for example. Equality or being less or greater, etc, etc. So it would be great to unify all of this into one operator. And that's exactly what the spaceship operator does. It helps us make all of this more readable and at the same time more functional. Let's substitute all of this with our single spaceship. Let's do it as a member this time. First, we need to declare the output type. Here, it's important to write auto. Why? We'll come back to that a bit later. Auto as our return type. Operator. And here we specify our spaceship. Ah, beautiful. And we have const widget a const operator and we can default it and now everything builds just fine as you can see we have a generated equality operator and a generated less or equal operator all of this using a single line here in fact this makes the compiler generate all comparison operators in one place and we can already see what a time saver this is you can also create custom implementation if the default one is not available or desirable in some way. And that's where the spaceship shines the most. Usually the default implementation is good enough. What it does is simply invoke the same spaceship operator on all members in order they were defined. But we can, and actually should, use this operator to compare whatever members we would like to compare and in what order and in what way you would like to compare them. But first, let me tell you about different types of orderings available. You see, some values which compare equal or unequal might not necessarily be the same or different. A very simple example is none or not a number. Any comparison with none is false, even with itself, despite it's the same value. Another, maybe more intuitive uh, example is plus zero and minus zero. They are bitwise different, yet equal. This is important when writing custom comparisons since we need to take into account the ordering of all members we are comparing and all those nitty gritty details. Fortunately, C++ solved this by forcing us to choose a concrete ordering type for a custom comparison. It can be one of strong ordering, weak ordering and partial ordering. And those are in fact the return types of the spaceship operator. We used auto previously for the default constructed ones because we don't really know what the return type is. It depends on what the return type is of the members inside our class. But let's talk about what these uh, 
different ordering types are. Strong ordering implies that equivalent values are indistinguishable, which basically means if something compares equal, it's the same thing, period. There's no way for you to tell that it's something different. Weak ordering relaxes this a bit. Something might compare equal, but might be distinguishable in a way, while partial ordering is even weaker than that. It both says that equivalent values can be distinguishable from each other, it also says incomparable values are pretty much allowed. So let's see what all of this means in practice. Let's write our custom comparison operator. First let's remove that, so our code no longer compiles. And the first thing we need to do when writing such an operator is to decide what type of ordering we wish to introduce. Let's introduce strong ordering because ints are really strongly ordered. So std strong ordering, again operator spaceship, const widget other and const. Inside let's compare two of our members one at a time. So first let's compare i. We do this by invoking the spaceship operator on it and getting the result. At this point let's take advantage of init statements in conditionals, which were introduced in C++ 17. So auto cmp equals i spaceship operator other i. This means we are creating a variable name cmp by invoking a spaceship operator between our field. And here we can actually do the comparisons. The ordering types can be compared to zero. If they compare to zero, which means the comparison returns true, we know the values are equal. So we need to compare our second member. So first we compare with zero. And if it's not zero, we already know that i is different in some way. Depends on what operator we are actually invoking. So let's re return CMP. But on the other hand, if CMP compares to zero, so this doesn't fire, that means we need to compare the other field now. So return J spaceship other J. And that's it. Everything compiles. Again, we got auto-generated equality operator and less or equal operator. All of this from one single spaceship operator definition. We can already see how much smaller the code is when comparing to writing all the operators by hand, even when using this custom logic. But let's get back to different ordering return types. The idea is they can be implicitly converted to lower ordering type, but not higher. So strong ordering can be implicitly converted to weak ordering. Weak ordering can be implicitly converted to partial ordering. But you cannot implicitly convert weak ordering to strong ordering. This means you cannot expect comparing a member with example weak ordering to implicitly work when strong ordering is required. So if i here was of some type which can only be weakly ordered, that means this code will fail to compile because we explicitly want the strong ordering guarantee. This can save you a lot of headaches at runtime when suddenly comparisons start giving wrong results. The gist is Something which compares weaker cannot be implicitly used for strong comparisons. The same goes for weak and partial ordering. Okay, so I hope you now know what the spaceship operator does. I hope you now know how to write your own custom operators and what guarantees they give. If you have any questions, post them down below, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.